Hey, Daniel. Oh, uh, thanks, Christine. Yeah. It's like I was telling you on the telephone. These people are in huge power positions. And if I kiss the right ass and submit my flawless resume, then maybe I'll get a piece of the mighty power that they hold. <sighs> Daniel. You're gonna do great. I'm sure of it. They're gonna love you. I'm 100% sure Wait, you're, that you're gonna do great. You're sure? Yeah. You're sure? Yes. No offense, Christine, but how would you know? You've been working the same dead-end job at Walco for, what, six years now? Ever since sophomore year of high school? I don't think you're really sure of anything. Well, to be fair, Daniel, my mom's not doing so well right Please, now. Please, Christine, save me your sob story. I've heard it too many times. I have more important things to worry about. Now, ask me why I'd be a good addition to the new company. Why would you be a good asset to the new division, Daniel? Well, fun you ask. I'm self-motivated, an extremely fast typer, and I have an excellent backstroke, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's disgusting, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah, well, who asked you? Well? Look, I'd love to sit here and chat, but like I said, I have an interview to make. Ross says to be at least 10 minutes early. Oh, and Christine, don't take it so hard. You fit in here. Hey, Gago. Hi, Daniel. Oh, God. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Christine, why weren't you at work last night? Kale and Hudson got in a fight. She said she was going to flush all them cigarettes down the toilet, and then she got out the plunger, and Jen just stood there, and she didn't know what she was going to do, but Hudson said, I need them cigarettes real bad, and... Not now, Goggle. Hey, Christine, what are you doing later? Because there's, there's a movie planned tonight, and I thought maybe we could go to a movie tonight and get some food, and like, gee, I think you're really special, Christine. I, Not what? now, Goggle! Okay. Come on, Daniel. You've been waiting your whole life for this. Don't blow it now. Remember what your dad said. Hi, I have an appointment with Mr. Granin. Hi, okay, just have a seat right over there and uh, I'll tell him uh, you're right here. Right over here? No, oh, over there by the oh, chairs. Oh, over here, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, just go have a seat right over there. Oh, I'll I'll go. Go. No, I got it. Just I please, got it. sir, go have a seat, please. Thank you. Oh, here for the big job interview, eh? Geez, what self-help book did you read? Something from 2008 apparently dressed like that. Yeah, I read Ross's Money Power. Great. Great? It's more than great. Ross is the man. 400 k in his first year alone, 16 corporate franchises. The God should be taking lessons from this guy. Here, let me read you a little bit. Uh, that, that's okay. To harness the power of the business, you must harness the power of the self. Enjoy the day without distraction, and empty the mind of all that is weighty. Pat Lacey? Is there a Pat Lacey here? Good luck. Stay, stay focused. I didn't say I couldn't. What's wrong with you, anyhow? You look like a sad fish, you know. I'm just thinking about my life and how I want a new one. Interesting. There are a lot of good things in life, you know. This coffee, for example. It's very cheap and expensive and it tastes delicious. It's so good, I back wrote a poem about it. Would you like to hear it? Go for it, man. All right. I've named this one, appropriately so, Coffee. When I feel tired, you make me awake. You taste really good, but not really great. When I crash from my job of being high, I fall asleep and no longer can I fly. That's great. Good job. Did it help much? A little bit. I still feel like a loser, though. Your Daniel is climbing the ladder to success. And I'm here, stuck. Stuck at my dead-end job at Walcorp with the two gossip queens and Goggle. That Goggle, I've seen him before. He's a real thief. I once saw him trying to steal someone's chocolate milk. 
Who am I kidding? Daniel's right. I'm just a loser. And there's nothing I can do about it. I just wish I was Daniel, you know? He's got it all figured out. Now, as you know, I'm a very powerful businessman. What can you give me to make my things better? Well, sir, I'm a hard worker. Yeah? Self-motivated. Yeah? And got an excellent backstroke. Is that right? You know, build this company up from nothing and into a powerful empire. What is it that you're going to do for me? Well, I'm going to make you the big money. Oh, is that so? How big? 20. Try again. 35. You slimy, toxic sponge. You disgust me. Yes, sir. Get out of my office right now. There's a door I suggest you use before I have to call the police. Marcy, make sure this toxic waste never gets back into my office again. Who am I kidding? I'm not cut out for this. And the worst part is the way I acted towards Christine. How could I have been such a colossal prick? From now on, the world's gonna see the real Daniel. Hey, it's Christine. She didn't leave yet. She's still here. It's time I make amends. It's okay. You're right anyways. I should be striving for more in life than what's inside of the walls of global Walcorp Industries. I want to try to save some money for college, or at least tech school or something. Try to really make something of myself. That's great. That's so awesome. I really hope it all works out for you. Thanks. So, did you get the job? No. Oh. What's this? Uh, it's a poem that that guy over there wrote for me. I think it's about coffee or something. 